Okay, let's make a graph and find the slope with an online plotting tool. Okay, so I'm using this Plotly. It's, if you go to P, you just Google Plotly right there or plot.ly. Uh, I'm logged in, but you don't have to be logged in. You're just going to go up here to create a chart. Okay, now you see up here this like Excel spreadsheet type thing. This is where we're going to put our data. I already have some data. I'm just going to paste it in there. Okay, let's just ignore these values for right now. Um, I'm just this just to make things easier. I'm going to rename this as T for the time. This is position versus time data, and we're gonna we're gonna plot it. And this is X. And just ignore that other column. Okay, so now I have time, and this will help if you have more than one column because you you can see what you're plotting. Uh, so let's just make a graph. So I go over here to scatter plot, and you can choose what kind. Let's just choose a normal one for right now. So scatter plot. Uh, now I need to choose what the x values are. So in this case, I want to put time on the x, the horizontal thing. So I'm going to go down here and click T. For the vertical, I want uh, I want the x values, which is right here. And that's it. You see right here, I have and it. It automatically. Let's see if I can move this up. It automatically put the labels that I had up there, but you can change these to whatever you want. I could say I want that time. I could give it a title, position versus time, whatever you want. Okay, you can change all the color and stuff like that, but who really? I don't really care about that. You can change the size and all that. It's instantly customizable. Let's say that. Okay, but we make a graph to find if it's a linear function to find the slope. So how do I find the slope of this graph? So let me move this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go over here to the Analysis tab. And then, oh, you can't see it. It's right there. I'm going to click Add Analysis. And I want a curve fitting. And I have to pick the chart. It called this one the X chart because that's what I plotted. You could have multiple plots on the same graph. That's why it has that. And I, I want a linear function. Um, so let's just click Run. There you go. It has it right there. But more importantly, down here, this button, Add results as an annotation and it put the uh, the correlation coefficient this tells you how close it is to a straight line uh, and then it has this 1.64 x plus 0.52 and this is the uh, slope and that's the intercept you can actually uh, edit that oops I deleted it there it is you can actually edit that but let's not the, you could change the to time instead of x if you want it, it doesn't matter. But let, let's just leave it the way it is. Uh, you can get rid of all that thing, but that's really what you want. Now down here, if you look in the fit parameters, it actually says m, the slope is 1.64 plus or minus 0.14. You can use that as the uncertainty if you want. I'm not sure that's the best value to use for the uncertainty, but uh, you can use that. Okay, I want to show you one more graph, so I'm just going to clear all this stuff out. Let's just reload it. I didn't save it. You can save it if you want. You can export it as, as, a, as an image or save it and share it and all that stuff. Let's put that data back in there. And I could rename those columns, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to click up here, scatter plot, error bars. So let's say these are my uncertainties in the x values. So it's actually x is 1.1 plus or minus 0.1. I just made that up. Okay. So now I do the same thing. What I want for the x values, what I want for the y values. And down here, vertical error bars, I want C. And you'll notice here that it has these lines, and these lines represent the size of the error bars. So this one right here, it's 4.33 plus or minus 0.3. So this goes up 0.3 and down 0.3. So that shows you the range of values that you're not certain about. Uh, and then again, you could have X error bars too, depending on, on what your data is. Um, and that should affect the slope. I'm not sure that Plotly does that. Let's just see real quick. Go to Analysis, Add Analysis, same thing, Curve Fitting, Run. Uh, it looks like it's giving me the same thing. Yeah, it's giving me the same thing. So I'm not. It must not be taking into account the error bars. I can. It th for this course, it doesn't matter. Uh, you could do it a lot of different ways. But if you want to use this as your uncertainty, that's fine. If you want to take the biggest error bars and then manually calculate the uncertainty using the crank three times, that's fine too. 
Okay, but I'll, I'll talk about this in class.